morning. Good morning. This is Secrets of a Lifetime. This is the uh, eighth in a series of t at least 12. Plus there is an introduction uh, as well. And there, there may be a 13th uh, video. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but uh, this is a result of my 80 years on the planet. Or I'm in my 80th year. Today we're going to look into uh, community and social responsibility. I hope that you get something out of it. That's the whole purpose behind this. So just relax and uh, open your hearts and minds. And take from it what you will. And leave the rest behind. You know, historically, I haven't been really super involved in my community. But I've always been engaged in uh, my church community. It's been a big part of my life. You see, service is all about giving back. Maybe even paying it forward. If you haven't seen the movie Pay It Forward, it's worth the watch. In my church, we often take on roles or callings that involve serving others, like mm, teaching a class uh, of kids in Sunday school or assisting a local uh, a leader, in this case called a bishop. It's all about giving back and lending a hand. We just get so much uh, from, from our Heavenly Father that it's, uh, it's fair to give back. Turns out giving back rebounds and you get more than you expected. Volunteering is another way to make a positive impact. It, it's all about saying yes to situations that need some help, whether it's cleaning a church building, helping someone move, raking leaves, building a fence. It's these little acts of service that really make a difference. Maybe not for you, but, but uh, for someone else. Being environmentally conscious is also part of being a responsible member of the community, whether it's your local town, your county, your state, or even the entire country. It's as simple as cleaning up after yourself at a campground, not littering in a park, or properly disposing of your trash. Now, over the last few decades, there's been a lot of, of uh, predictions that have been quite alarming, uh, warnings about the polar ice caps melting in a few years, stuff like that. But sometimes these predictions don't quite pan out, and I, it can feel a bit like the story of Chicken Little, where he spoke so much about the sky falling that everybody stopped listening. Nonetheless, it's essential to be mindful of our impact on the environment. We only have one Earth. Now let's talk about the Internet. It's become a central part of our lives, but it's also a decline, seen a decline in etiquette because of it. People can be downright mean online because they don't have to face each other. It's disheartening. Uh, one of our church leaders, President Russell M. Nelson, suggested taking a break from the Internet for a while. I took his advice and even trimmed down my Facebook uh, friends list. It's good advice, too. Much time online can often lead to negativity. However, there's also a wealth of valuable information on the Internet. So it's all about striking a balance. Learn something new, explore, but don't get lost in the endless scrolling. Living in Minnesota, I've noticed that we have a diverse community with immigrants from various parts of the world, like, like Somalia, let's see, um, Nigeria, and there's a group of Hmong people, K-M-O-N-G, and Karin people, they were... Uh, they were subjected to atrocities and, and uh, trying to be annihilated. And of course, many Hispanic families from not just Mexico, but in the entirety of South America. It's fascinating to get to know them, understand their customs and traditions, and see the similarities and differences. And you can use an AI tool like ChatGPT to find out how their uh, customs and norms compare the United States. In fact, you can even help people uh, that you find that are from another country by doing that with AI and then helping them understand what we're like. And you're just uh, doing research for them. Oh, there is a wealth of information. It's fascinating to get to know uh, immigrants, uh, understand their customs and traditions and see the similarities and differences. Some are much better with their families than, than we are. Talking to one, one fellow from Ghana, who was my doctor, 
and he said that um, they take care of their families. There, there are no nursing homes because uh, families pitch in and take care of them. I know that's hard for us to think about, but if we can take the best from all cultures, we'll all get better. It's essential to emphasize with their experience. It's, it's essential to empathize with their experiences, like the challenges that many of them do have. They face language barriers, job opportunities, businesses taking advantage of them. It helps put our lives into perspective. Now, politics can be quite a divisive topic. It's easy to feel like you have no control over it, but voting is crucial. It, in fact, it is the only real thing that we can do to make an impact. Even if you're unsure about the whole political scene, casting your vote forces you to think about what's happening in the world. Right now, in 2023, there's considerable divide between conservatives and liberals. Most people might not keep up with all the issues, and many have stopped watching the news. The animosity between different political groups is quite intense. Remember, it's important to stick with facts and be cautious about where you get your information. This saying from my mom replies, quote, believe none of what you read and half of what you see. Some holds the truth, but you just have to be very careful with sources. In this polarized political climate, it's possible to lose friends or even create rifts within your own family because of differing political beliefs. It's essential to focus on the facts and make informed decisions. Promoting civility and inclusion is something that we all can do, and we can do it better. We're all children of a loving Heavenly Father, and while we may have different backgrounds and perspectives, we're all just passing through this life for a relatively short period of time. It's worth trying to get along and make the most of the time that we're here. Thanks. Have a great day.